Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and now I'm coming to you with another killer problem in my Sudoku problem series. Killer is an incredibly popular constraint and people like setting with it, um, and people like coming up with interesting challenges for it. Um, and this is one that um, has had a couple of, some interesting feedback. So this is from Virtual, thank you for submitting this one. Um, so there'll be a link to this one below where you can try it, of course. And the rule for killer is, of course, digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Digits cannot repeat within cages, but that's not relevant to this. All of the cages are within the same boxes. Um, so all you need to do is figure out the three digits um, with the X's. Um, so that's all that's required to solve this. You don't need to figure out any other full digits. Um, so feel free to pause the video, give it a try on the link below, and I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so yeah, the feedback on this one was fun and I really like this one. So the, what we want to do is we want to look for where digits are kind of forced. So a 24 cage in three, the only way you can do that is with the maximum digits. This is seven, eight, and nine. A 23 cage is also forced. This is six, eight, and nine. Now, this means that there's a couple of different ways of looking at it, that. We can look at it now that seven has to be in here, so seven can't be here, and six has to be in here, so six can't be here. That gets us some deductions, and this is because there's a quad in the row. Not as useful as looking at this 22 cage and realizing this 22 cage must have a nine in it. It's either five, eight, nine, or six, seven, nine. And because there must be a nine in it, this becomes an eight. I've got to type the right digit. And there is no eight in here. This becomes seven, nine, which of course means there's no nine in here. This becomes six, eight, which means this must be the nine, which of course means there's no eight in this, which means this is six, seven, and nine. But we still need to figure out what this digit is. Now, that's a little bit restricted. Now, a 15 cage is either six, nine, or seven, eight, but that's not enough to give us this because we can't quite force this down. If this is nine, this could be seven, eight. If this is six, this could be seven, eight. If this is seven, this could be six, nine. So we've got to start looking here. Now, a 14 cage can only be made up two ways, six, eight, or five, nine. But it can't be six, eight, because if it was six, eight, that cell would have no value. So this has to be five, nine. Now this 19 cage is restricted because you can't put a nine in it and you can't put a five in it. So there's only one possible combination for this cage, four, seven, and eight. And because seven and eight have to go into these three cells, the, you cannot put a seven, eight anywhere else in this row. Seven, eight comes out of here. Now the only way to make up this 16, 15 cage, not 16 cage, 15 cage is six, nine. And once you've got six, nine in the column, that can no longer be six or nine. That becomes the seven and that completes the problem. Now, I know a lot of people have said that they can't complete these if there's pencil marks elsewhere in the grid. I've not hit that problem. I don't know what's causing it. I'm just using the base Sudoku pad. I've got pencil marks all over this and it did complete. I'm not sure what's causing that problem. If you are having that problem, I really don't know what to do. I cannot replicate that. But on this one, as you can see, I've got pencil marks everywhere and it did complete. Um, I really wish I could replicate that so I could try and determine what's going on because on a, a problem like this, that will be needed. Um, if you have to complete, erase your other pencil marks, yeah, I don't know. Complete digits don't work. Like if I'd put a six and a nine in here, I know that wouldn't work, but I've never had a problem with pencil marks. But hopefully you were able to deduce how this problem worked. I really like the way these cages have been designed so that this cage is forced because of once you get um, this digit and then this becomes forced because of this, that forces this, which gives you that digit. I really like the way that bounces back around. Very nice nice killer logic in this one. Thank you, Virtual, for submitting it. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying the stuff I'm bringing to the channel. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.